What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to check out the Spider-Man life-size bus by Sideshow Collectibles. So they teased this a little while back. It's a continuation of their Marvel Comics line. I currently actually own two life-size busts from this line and I've seen the other two in person. Uh, but here it is, life-size bust, one-to-one -one scale. Let's check this out. So 23 inches tall. So not super, super tall, uh, you know, because of the pose, obviously, it's a little like hunched in a way, it feels like. Uh, 19 and a half inches wide, 18 and a half inches deep. So this would fit inside a Stuva and not take up too much space. You know, it really as much space as like a PF, you know, a premium format one fourth. So you can see next to the Apple just how big. So, you know, decent size. I do like how the bases all match. You know, it's matching my Deadpool and Venom bust. Yeah, so as you can see, like I said, it's lunging forward, almost like he's swinging forward into your collection. <laughs> so that's why it's 23 inches. If he was just going straight up, it'd probably be more like 28. So they did more of a like action semi pose with that whole lunge forward, which does make it the 18 and a half inches deep. And then here's the back, you can see the spider symbol and then the black. Not much to see outside the spider symbol. Sculpt overall looks pretty darn good. I do like the sculpt and the overall look of it. I think it looks quite good. The only thing I'm like, I kind of wish it had was maybe some texture. Uh, there's zero texture and the eyes seem a little plain. You know, like the eyes are just white. I don't know, you know, like I love my Venom eyes. They have like this really good shading to them. And then my Iron Spidey bust, has you know textured work in both the eyes and in the suit where this one's really just comic book accurate so i mean if if you're going for a comic book spidey it's definitely a good option it's between this and queen but queen is quite a bit more pricey you know it's, i do think queen is probably better but there's a few things about queen i don't like as well but overall it's a pretty nice looking bust you know i do like uh i do like it no doubt I think if you have the Venom bust, this is a really good companion piece. Uh, and this is priced at $895 with free shipping. So I believe my Deadpool was something like $895 as well. Venom was a little more pricey, but obviously has more detail. So I think the price is decent. It's not... When I see that price, I don't think it's overpriced because you're getting the free shipping and generally shipping a bust is quite expensive, usually hundreds of dollars. So I think overall they did a pretty good job. Uh, I don't plan to add this because I have my Iron Spidey and I much prefer the movie look versus comic Spidey. But overall, I do think this is a nice looking statue and you know, it's definitely a good option for people out there. You know, especially considering Queen, you have to import through like a third party retailer and it would cost three to 500 to import. So it's just super, super pricey. And some people don't like bus with arms, uh, but I love how this matches Venom. I feel like, you know, this is a really good companion piece to Venom, you know, so definitely very, very cool. Uh, and that, you know, it looks like this goes up for pre-order March 25th. So in two days from now, I'm pretty confident it's not going to have an addition size, but overall, it's a nice looking bust. Let me know your thoughts in comments below. What do you guys think of this uh, Spider-Man life-size bust by Sideshow Collectibles? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.